Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. The podcast. How the hell are you, Melbourne? I think Ooh, you're good. It's great to be here. Great to be here, Dino. How's, you survived the weekend. Uh, yeah, I had a bit of a blowout Friday night. Ended up. I in heard a, you was a little ringing. You were a little ringing at a party. I ended up in like a hotel suite, but it felt like yeah. a whole level of crown, right? Yeah. With Jack and his beautiful mates. And I was wearing my scooter helmet. <laughs> yes. I mean, you've got to be prepared uh, for these things. Well, I'm proud of you to that. I'd been at that birthday party. Right, right. And trying to drag my wife, Kylie Brown, into the Uber <laughs> was hard work to the point where Jackie Charles had to intervene. And had to just push, push the masses away that were trying to drag her to this after party that Dino turned up Why to. Why couldn't she go to the after party? It was time. She oh, was... no, I knew she, she wanted to go home and then she's getting dragged up by a mate. Right. And then she got in a car and she goes, I just want to miss chicken with a steam bun and some cheese. Right. I see. Good, good choice that you've jumped uh, in the Uber. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> how when was, you, how when was you it? get to the McChicken stage. Yeah. Uh, how was Uber spelt, do you know? It's Y-U-B-E-R. Yeah. It's, it definitely starts with a Y. Yeah. 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 Uh, Swanee, what did you get up to? Very quiet. I did take the kids to the IMAX movie that you suggested on Friday. We went into oh, the yes. city and saw the Torah Bright one. The Torah yeah. Bright one. It was amazing. It was right. so amazing. The polar bear, the penguins on right. the... I loved it. The kids uh, about halfway through, Kit nudges me and he goes, yeah, and, you know, does the 50-50 tough. symbol. And I'm like, my God, you're a tough crowd. Tough crowd. These kids, man. I know. They, they don't even know. Did it, you see when the polar you... bear in the, uh, in the IMAX film that she spoke about the other day? Yes. Oh, yeah. He was so cool. Max. He looked a bit thin, though. A bit lean. Yeah, yeah. I could see his hip bones. <laughs> yeah. um, but he, I, I just like to think that maybe that was just hit part of his cycle. Yeah. You know, he was just coming mm. out of hibernation. Yeah. Mm. Hey, we've got a big show. Mystic Chrissy's back. Cam Datto, uh, we got an emergency interview with Cam Datto because we had him on on Friday, didn't we? Yeah, and he gave us the heads up. He's like, you might want to talk to me on Monday. There's going to be a scandal. So we've booked it in. All right. Mm. Hopefully something happened. Well, I think we've got some issues with Cam Datto. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Ready to hit the road this summer? It's time to What If It. Visit whatif.com to plan and book your accommodation flights, activities, even car hire. Plus, select hotels are fully refundable. Booking cancellation windows apply. What If. It's Aussie for travel. Check government advisories before booking and travel. Uh, 12, so 12 months ago. One week ago. Mm. Uh, Super Bowl Swanee, I, I, was, I was about to speak to you guys. Um, well, this is about the time. So I was at the Super Bowl, SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, the newest stadium in the world, $6 billion. How do you spell SoFi and what does it mean? S O dash. FI. I presume it's a telecommunications yeah, company. Yeah, it's like a sponsor. Okay. It's a sponsor. Mm-hmm. So, so far, Stadium, it was amazing. So, we spoke about the tailgate party. I think that's where I'd spoken to you. And there's this guy, an American rapper called Wycliffe John. Mm. And he was, is it Wycliffe John or Wycliffe Jean? Jean Jean. I'd say Jean, but yes. Yeah, anyway. I think it's Wycliffe Jean. So, it's crazy. You know, you imagine outside the MCG, a, a big rock stage. Is Did you up. know him? Before? No, I didn't. I'm thinking, who's this guy? Like, I thought he was warming the crowd up. And there was plenty happening. He was huge in the 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Remember this song, Two Wrongs? Wait for it when he kicks in. He's the first one to sing in a second. Did he have something to do with... Fuji's? Fuji's. Do you remember the Fuji's? Oh, yeah. Remember this song? Yeah, was awesome. Remember the start of this? So good. So he's doing all little bits, you know, like his little compilations going along and just sort of warming the crowd up. We're all around there having a few drinks. I'm saying we're all around. Like there's, you know, 50,000 people mingling, probably more, because people would go to the tailgate party, Swanee, yeah. and, and don't actually go to the game. Yeah. And then when the actual concert part of the day starts, you imagine this, this is 12.30 in the afternoon, mm. warming the crowd up, and then this rolls out. Wait a minute now. I want to see which this side is the go. Oh, my God. I've got... Goosebumps. Yes. Whoa. Wow. Oh so God. that got us going. Was the crowd oh, all the, the crowd just jumping stopping. in unison? Like, yeah. It felt like there was 50,000 out the front there. And, then and just is that recording in, from your phone? That actually. was from my phone. So oh, wow. I, I videotaped it and I'll put it on, um, or videotaped it, it's recorded on my phone. I'll send it on our social. I just love the difference between sort of, you know, that's like a, a, side, a side gig, yeah. not the big names. Mm. They get Wycliffe John, we'd have what? Conrad Sewell. Yeah, that's at right. best. At best. Uh, so, oh, Brown, I got the other bit, the other song. You thought that one was good, Swanee. Oh, right. Wow. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, that was the main event. So yeah. I kept it until last. But by the end of that song, That's right. everyone's right. throwing their beers in the in the air and it was just pumping. So oh. obviously I'm excited, Swanee. So after that song, then we make the walk to SoFi Stadium, which is probably a couple hundred metres walk. On the way, there's an Australian walking past with an NFL ball because out the front of SoFi, there's this massive lake. And so this Aussie hands me an American football and goes, hey, Brownie, isn't it time for the longest kick? Because in Australia, of course, we do the longest kick over the arrow on Before the game final. Before the game. Now I've got a beautiful blue shirt on. I've got the ca- the khaki pants. and uh, khaki, got the khaki, the khaki pants. The khaki pants. And I've got the ferrocinis with the leather soles on, Swanee. So Hard not, to kick, mate. Not, not the ferrocinis. Not the ferris. Not the ultimate, uh, not the ultimate traction. No. So I thought, what we do, back I go. Now there's thousands at this point walking in. <laughs> so I've lined up. With me very best uh, stance and structure. Yeah. And I've had about a 20 metre run up and just gone bang and I've nailed the torpedo into the lane. Of course <laughs> you have. Into the ground. A Derek Kickett style top. Derek Kickett. Didn't lose me feet. It was a beautiful spiral. Probably not Derek Kickett. Not as far as Derek. Not as beautiful as Derek. Of course not. But uh, it was magnificent. On the end of it, a few of the Americans, they loved it. They've gone for a high five and then right at the end of the video, this guy in an NFL shirt, he goes for the big high five and I just give him the big... <laughs> Donuts. You missed it. I oh, missed my it. God. You keep, you keep doing this you to people. You keep doing this. Poor bastard still left hanging out the oh, front of sofa. no. Yeah, great experience. <laughs> this is the Chrissy, Sam and Brownie podcast. And now it's time for Whose Plotline Is It Anyway? Well, here we have it. Your yeah. life, Dino, is like something out of a movie. So is yours as well, Christine Swan. Yeah. Yeah, out and about on the streets. Uh, yeah, hey, apparently dating our boss. Yeah, hey. yeah Swanee just showed us some uh, paparazzi photos. Oh, wow, and the big scoop. John, I didn't know that Swan and our boss were sleeping together. Wow, that's amazing. Is that appropriate? I hope you get a pay rise. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, Dino. Uh, hey, you guys, me and my mates, when we were about 13, found a gun. How cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you're a little kid, right, and some of your parents are more strict than others. Yes. So in order to get something done, you have to get all your ducks in a row. You had to tell those parents I'm going to their house and vice versa. Yeah. Because, in fact, we weren't going to anyone's house. What? We were setting off on a voyage on foot down a damn railroad. (sighs) With a gun. With a gun. (laughs) Ah, horseplay at worst. Um, any ideas yet? Let's go to the Is there a nice bridge? Big bridge, man. Big bridge. Big, big bridge. Don't you love bridges as kids? Bridges are I mean, You get to a bridge because it's decision time. You know, there's a bit of trepidation about reaching that bridge. Yeah. yeah. Do you cross it? Yeah. What's coming the other way? Is this where our voyage ends? That's right. Mm. Yeah. Uh, by the way, 13, 24, 10, if you think you know what movie this is, even though it's my life. Uh, ben, how you going, man? Good morning, guys. How are we? Good, Ben. Very good. What's this movie? Oh, it sounds like it might be The Lost Boys. It's not. Oh, Benny Boy. Lost Boys. Oh. Jeez, you're close. Hey, you're great close. bridge scene in The Lost Boys. Absolutely. Though, where they're hanging upside down as vampires. We weren't vampires, Ben. What about the bridges of Madison County? Have you seen that? No. Mm, uh, I loved mm. it. Um, ben also works as a shift worker in a prison. So let's save his number because I just want to talk to him about that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Get him on as a professional. Um, yes. Okay. So back to it. We're on our voyage. Four friends singing songs and shooting our guns. What sort of songs? Um, lollipop, lollipop, oh, la 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 lollipop. What about eating oh, contests? Oh, Did oh. you run any eating contests at any stage? No, but I told my friends about a story I made up about yeah. an eating contest oh. and ended up with everyone vomiting all over each other. Wow. That was a wild trip. Love eating contests. Rochelle, what's up? Good morning, any How idea? are you? Yeah, pretty good. Any idea? Uh, stand by me. Yes. yes. One of the most beautiful films ever. Absolutely. May I offer you a tidbit? Please. When, when it was, we'll get to you in a minute, Rochelle, with your prize. But when it was on in cinemas, my dad was living in Adelaide, a single man yeah. alone, and uh, the big poster had one of the best, which was one of the critics. Mm. Uh, Comments on it. One of the best. Right. Variety magazine. Yes. Anyway, he said to us, girls, I've seen this great film. It's called One of the Best. 
and we're like, we, <laughs> we haven't best. heard of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's one of the best. And, you know, once he's got the answer of something, that that's it. Yeah. Anyway, it turns out that he hadn't read the fine print that it was called <laughs> yeah. Stand By Me. One of the best movies. <laughs> he called it the review. One of the best. He obviously just walked out of the crazy hall. Ever wondered what happens in the studio? Check out Chrissy, Sam and Brownie on Instagram. Renovations, am I right? Yep. I'm hoping to never have to renovate anything again, but I want you to spare a thought. 13, 24, 10, by the way, what was the weirdest and longest sort of makeshift thing that you had to live in while you were renovating? Mm. Because there's different levels. There's a family in Melbourne that's been living in a wedding marquee tent oh. for over a year. <laughs> in fairness, though, I've been to a wedding where there's some big-ass marquees. Look, I've got to be honest. It looks like a great marquee. It's yeah. the big, oh, big lovely. white wedding one. Yeah. And then inside it looks fun. It's got a dirt floor and... Lots of furniture. Over a year, though, Swanee. Jeez. But over a year oh, yeah. in summer, oh. you know, there's no in climate summer. control. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they've had two summers there. So how did this happen? It's actually been nearly two years. Oh, how did this happen? COVID delays on the building of their of their dream home. They were supposed to be in, you know, I mean, yeah. and that's part and parcel of having something built or renovating something. It always goes longer than you think, and you yeah, factor that in. Absolutely. But over two years in a tent, they've had a gutful. Kids would have loved it, huh? Oh, <laughs> trust me, they they haven't. They haven't loved it. They had to cancel Christmas and stuff. I mean, it's terrible. No. And I have, I mean, everybody that's renovated anything. Like we put a new kitchen in uh, a house that I had in North Baldwin mm. and I had to set up the kitchen in the garage. So I would, I had like, you know, a plug-in fry pan mm. yeah. and the fridge there, yeah. which always looks really incongruous and weird in the middle of a garage, just a fridge. And then you're inside watching television because most of the house is normal apart from the cavernous kitchen where there's nothing. Yeah. And all your habits are out. Mm. Like you're like, oh, I'm going to make a cup of tea. Oh, I've got to go outside into the garage where I've got a trestle table with a little bit of tea bag action. It feels like you're camping. <laughs> it feels, it's very, it's like very odd. No McAfee there. It, it, it was it's, a bit uh, like the block, yeah. yes. Um, and then when we the, we put in some b- windows in the back of the house that we're in now, like, you know, sliding doors yeah. and stuff. So for about six months, I reckon, we just had the whole back of the house was closed off and chipboard. So there was no no light and it was freezing. Mm. So you'd be sitting watching television shivering. That was where the Udi came into its own. You need nice. Them, yeah. In that, and I, I used to wear two Udis sometimes. Udis. You need the 44-gallon drum, just like at Rocky too, and then you sit around the fire and yeah. you sing songs. What Absolutely. a great idea. Inside, yeah. inside, inside the house. <laughs> yeah. By the end of a renovation, you want to put the whole house in that 44-gallon drum and set fire to yes. it. It is the trickiest thing. 13, 24, 10. Let us know... What sort of makeshift bits and bobs you've had to go through when you're updating your kitchen or maybe it's the kids' rooms, even just getting carpet. Like, what, did you sleep in the hallway? What did you do? Yeah, yeah. 13, 24, 10. Anna from Croydon. Anna? Yes. You had no roof on your house? What? We had no roof on our house and my mum gave birth to my brother. Um, So my brother came home from the hospital with no roof on the house. Mm. And middle of winter, oh. all pad was carped and mum was pushing water off the roof in between feeds in the middle of the oh, night. Oh, my God. Did you actually have floors or they dirt floors as well, Anna? They were, we had floors, but we didn't have a seat, like Jeez. we didn't have a roof. So we're and, not an ideal situation. <laughs> and this is obviously like 25 years ago or so. Do, is, yeah. Has it become family folklore? Yeah, yeah, it's always brought up. Has now, your we, has your mother forgiven your father yet for timing the replacement of the no, roof? But I mean, honestly, every time we talk about renovating now, she says, "Well, if I can do it with the child, yes. you can do it." Yeah, she uses it against your own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ultimately, but, whose fault do you think a, it was? Who, who are you blaming? You're blaming Dad or the builders? Um, I think I'm blaming everyone. Yeah, mm, okay. yeah, the world. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think that's fair. And a 50K yep. Fridays, you could win it. Thanks for your story. Jake, what do you got for us? Um, well, me and my wife were renovating our lounge room and our bedroom. My wife decided to dismantle the bed in the worst way possible with a sledgehammer. <laughs> and we had nowhere to sleep. So for about three weeks, we had to sleep in a bathtub. It's so. <laughs> what? You slept in a bathtub? Yeah, because the, the lounge room was being painted and had no floor sort of thing. 
She didn't want to sleep in there, so we well, closed in a bathroom. Hey, that is magnificent. I remember Jakey as a young fella. My old man bought this block of land. He thought it was a great idea to buy a house three hours away and get a truck there. And then, because this, this, on this block was this tiny little cottage, two-bedroom cottage. Mm. So I guess where I got to sleep. In the laundry. Yes. And mum used to save money on power. She would do the washing at night. Oh, the oh, wow. old dishwasher just clanking against my bed. Wait, was the oh. power cheaper at night? Off, off peak? Yeah. Absolutely, off, off peak. peak. <laughs> off peak. Oh, my off. God. Jake, did you go top to tail? Like, how did it yeah, work in the bar? We, that's how we did it, top to tail, head to toe. Oh, and how long for? For about two weeks till the bed, new bed came mm. from oh. Harvey Norman. Jake, that is so great. Don't worry, me and Campbell Brown slept top to toe last week in LA (laughs) for a week. Bet you did. (laughs) 50K Fridays, Jakey. You could win it this Friday. Let's go to Mim and Armadale. What do you got? Hi, Mimi. I love this subject so much. (laughs) We um, were renovating our kitchen and our bathroom at the same time. So, Chrissy, we had the trestle table as well. Yeah. But the the funniest thing was we had this landing um, outside the back. Our house was kind of high and we had this like sort of um, makeshift shower and you could see it from the street if you looked and so you had to sort of duck in and duck out and oh. um, basically, yeah, we were showering in public. <laughs> that is, um, was it freezing? Like just the whole idea fills me oh, with yeah. dread. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty funny. We had, we had to, yeah, for about six weeks we were sort of, yeah, trying to hide from the public. It, mm. it, was, just, it was just so funny. I'm going to have to say, Mimi had the bath plugs out on show for everyone. Of course see. she did. Oh. Hey, she loved it. I, mean, I loved it? I love those stories so much. I'm gonna give I'm gonna take some initiative here and give every caller a hundred and fifty dollar grilled voucher well and two tickets to see Whoa. the Batman. Try the Bruce Wayne burger at Grilled and see the Batman in cinemas March third. That's for all three of you. Sorry, Dino, I cut you off. Right. Hey Mim, was it just ten percent titillating showering in public? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. The podcast. Good morning, Melbourne. Welcome to your Monday. And my God, I missed him this weekend. Sam Pang. Good morning, Melbourne. Whoa, oh, man. How's that? That was nice. Bit of energy. It's a Seven lot of energy. Energy. Yeah. Did you have a lovely restful weekend? You look well. Yeah, very rested. What? Did you what do? Are you looking at? We've got a big weekend coming up. You know, we're doing a we're going out to a, a footy club in the country next weekend. And, I believe you may have just, because we haven't been on the speaking circuit for a couple of years. So what you're calling it, yeah. You may have done a little warm-up, did you? Yeah. Uh, late in the week. <laughs> Where, <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Where was that warm Thursday. Tell Swanee oh, what the well, Tell Swanee. Was. I don't know why I didn't get to do it on, uh, I didn't tell you on Friday. You know, Friday we're usually packed. But yeah. on the Thursday night, I may have, as a favour to a fellow member at at Q, <laughs> may have popped down to to um, speak in front of the North Ball and Rotary Club. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dave O'Neill esque. What? It was only it was only less. <laughs> the North Ball and Rotary Club. Half hour of very just tight sh- gears, Johnny. <laughs> Just sharpen up. Was that the equivalent of, you know, the comedians before the Melbourne Comedy Festival? Just got a couple of little quiet pubs. They do. Try good. some new Tell material. Trying out some out new material. Too. Does that mean that you've got some sort of special privileges at, like, the Campbell Sunday Market, the Burundara Farmers Market? You don't have to chuck in the $2 entry? I think that uh, my money will be no good there, Swanee. Your money the is road. no good I, I didn't, um, didn't realise what, what, what great work Rotary are doing all around the world, Freddie. <laughs> it's amazing. They're amazing. Now, you were on my mind this weekend. I've bought you presents. What? First of all, because you're the king of spaghetti bolognese, I made an amazing spaghetti Uh bolognese on the weekend and I had a spoonful and I thought, is this Sam Pang worthy? Okay. I don't know. I'm not. And my initial thought was I'm nervous. Oh, you're very, he's very good. Yeah. It's a it's a real process, but I've bought you in. Jeez, it's a very good colour. It, 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 it's a great, That's it's right, delicious. Really nice. yeah. And it's got beautiful stuff from the farmer's market in it. It's a thoughtful, very slow-cooked spaghetti sauce, and I've brought you in a container. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Not, because do not be nervous. Are you going to heat it up or you just eat it raw? No, no, he'll he'll take that, that home oh, okay, right. and cook the Beautiful. lovely pasta. I'm a, and... I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I have my <laughs> bolognese sauce with actual pasta, John. Have you just eaten it like a bowl of chilli or something? And guess what yeah. else I've got you? Jesus. Oh, what else? Jeez. I bought you new dolls oh, for your collection. New dolls. I saw these two and I thought... <laughs> <laughs> Rocky you... Balboa and Apollo Creed. Yes. What are they? What They're are dolls. They? They're dolls for you. They're pop vinyls. They're I've the latest s- thing. Are they are the latest? They're the latest thing, and I just thought they're so cute. 
Oh, yes. And right. they're dolls. And we know you love dolls, don't we? Yeah, we know he loves dolls. They're a doll guy. Should figures. refer to them in their correct term. And that, and, well, they are, they are unbelievable. They're for you. And I can urge them to say, I'm going to run a bath tonight. Yes. And, th- I'm gonna, and they're going to fight. In, they're going to fight. <laughs> In the bath. Yes. Well, they only had two. They only had two twice, didn't they? Yeah, so, yeah, quick bath. <laughs> Those sorts That's of very, very nice of you. New dolls I... and spaghetti sauce for Sam. Hey, thank you. That's all right. It's a pleasure. This is the Chrissy Sam and Brownie podcast. This is what happened over the weekend. News, sport, drama and entertainment. It's the weekend that was with Sam and Ben. What a weekend it was. What a weekend. Well, what a week. I've just started by... Getting a tub of bolognese mm. and Rocky and Apollo bath as, toys. As bath toys. <laughs> I don't know if they're, if they're technically bath toys, but I'll be in the bath with them. So they are they're they are bath toys. <laughs> Where to start? The COVID. Uh, the Queen has COVID. That's unbelievable. Can I give you my take on that? I feel like is the, it a hot one? Yeah, hot take. Well, I feel like the palace wouldn't tell us while she had it. Even I feel she, like she had it last week and she's fully she's recovered. Through. Really. And then they've, yeah, absolutely. And then they've said she's got it. Well, right. Charles had it. Charles had it a couple of weeks for the second time. Mm. Couple, it's, the, it's the Buckingham Palace. If she Plus survives it, it, if she survives this, she's going to get to 100. No doubt about right. it now. Write that she, down. She'll get the letter from there herself if she survives COVID. The Buckingham Palace cluster the is Buckingham one of Palace my favourite. The Buckingham Palace it's out of control now. Camilla's got colic. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> everything's all right. Don't worry about it, all right? <laughs> hey, I just wanted to point I out. You, I thought you were going to take e- the old. Equine flu. Yeah. What? Come on. Oh, hoof was... rot. <laughs> hoof rot? Please. <laughs> What's hoof rot? Mate, hoof I feel rot like there's something called hoof rot. Yeah, I think there's. <laughs> I don't know. I, well, I ain't quite You know, it's like tinea. Hoof. It's like tinea or fu- like a nail fungus, but for a hoof. Mm. Hoof. Hoof rot. <laughs> snap, snap dancer will get that sooner. Yeah, bring she, it down she wouldn't want to. Oh, snap it. Bring it down to prime. Hey, uh, you always mention. From your Super Bowl experience, Wycliffe Jean Jean mm. Mm. from the Fuji. Well, it's spelled Jean, but yeah. I think it so, and I've been—I rem- I remember saying, "I know, I remember Wycliffe because he did a—he did a duet with The Rock." And I was thinking, "Do you? No one remembers it. Mm. You were struggling no. earlier to play a song that anyone knew, mm. but I'd say, do you know this one from?" From the album. What do you mean anyone knew? We, we played "Smells Like Teen Spirit." Yeah, and I played two wrongs, which everyone knows. <laughs> this one though. This oh, one though was caught from. I get so stroppy, the two of you. My God, I've never seen you two so passionate. I know. He's just, he's just lying. I'm now. a Wycliffe John man. This is like Jonathan Brown wanted to punch you then over Wycliffe John. This is from the Ecliptic uh, in 2000. You know, this is the Rock with Wycliffe. No, this is the Rock kicking it with the refugee camp, and Whoa. you're about to smell what the Rock is cooking. Whoa. Yes. I got a pocket full of cheese and a garden full of trees. It doesn't matter. I just want to be the rock. Sam's face. It doesn't matter. This is, oh, this is great. This could be a new Oh, welcome to the microphone, Sam Pang. With tune or not a yes. tune. Oh. What? what are we doing? I thought it might be a new intro song for you. Oh, okay. Just when the horns hit. Okay. I'll play that. Was that an over fresh hit back in the day? Yeah. Why? Likely for a red room, could we get him? Let's trial that when he comes in tomorrow. Yeah, Mr. Wonderful could be gone, Pang. Really? Yeah, man. I wanted to um, <laughs> I wanted to point out the uh, we've got Olympia Valance coming up uh, later on the show. Mm. Very exciting. I know you're all big. We're all big fans. We are. I love her. She's on Dancing with the Stars, All Stars Edition. Is that yes. right? Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I saw a promo for it, Swanee, mm. and I just I. I've big been, names. Big names. Yeah. Big names. But I've been big on you know Channel Seven. Publicity and promotions, and I have a very close relationship. Very close, yeah. Uh, You're a company man. Due to front bar, and I just, I, I had a go at them uh, after hearing this, this promo for Dancing with the Stars All Stars because I just don't think that they, I, I just think they're underselling it. TV's greatest entertainment show is back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, TV's the, greatest of, in, in the Come history on. in the history of television in the history of television. Mm, I thought I had Channel Seven. I thought I had TV's greatest entertainment show. Greatest is entertainment that. show ever. Come on, that's that is a big call no, and, no. A, and wrong. I'm going to say it. I mean, sue me. No, I don't think it is the greatest entertainment show. Man, I don't oh think man, it is. man, oh man, man on oh Channel man. Seven years ago was, was. magnificent. What about man Solid oh Gold oh with Marilyn McCoo? Mates on a Mission is the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Mates on a Mission. I want to just finish with this. I just want to finish with this. Um, we haven't we haven't uh, covered much darts lately. 
We haven't. And I was going to do this with Ash Gardner. I thought, no, no, I want to give this. I want to give this. You know, some a proper. Okay. Proper Ash, round of what is Nova though? It's the home of darts. Thank you very much. It, it is, actually it is. is. And I want to thank Brody for bringing me to, to bring this to my attention because it was an incredible night in Belfast on the weekend. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do we miss this? Because the world number one. We're gonna, I didn't know there's a world number one. A new world number one. Gerwin Price, right? I just Gerwin. Gerwin. Mm-hmm. Um, the spelt as as you would expect, but mm-hmm. he had a. May I say it again? An incredible night in Belfast mm-hmm. on the weekend. Mm-hmm. Let's let's have a listen to him with. A traditional nine data that he did in the quarterfinals. Yes. This was on Saturday night, I believe. Yeah, and that would have given Gerwin Price a real cushion. A double break when you throw it first in a race to six. And that's a second one seven seven of the match for Gerwin Price. Okay, he's to find something special against the throw, but position here. I mean, he now sets up the nine data. Rice smile. <laughs> Michael Smith. This one would bring the roof off the arena here in Belfast. Double 12 for Gerwin Price. He takes an Eindhoven lead. Come on. Double, yes. 12. double 12 to finish. Like Swanee said, he put the cigarette down, he put his beer down. Yeah. And yeah. now the double 12 I think he might have been a Guinness if he was in. That was actually in the second, in the, in the, in the semi-final at the, against Michael Van Gerwen. And, and then in the final against James Wade. He he won convincingly, but his crowd would have been going berserk. They would have been going. Oh, they would have been going berserk for Belfast. the first one. Oh. Would have, well, it was an incredible night in Belfast. Yeah, but <laughs> they were going bananas for the first one. But can you imagine how they went for the second one? What the second one in the same night? Yes, took his opportunity superbly. <laughs> Precious points from the Premier League up for grabs. He can't do this again, surely. Oh, and done again. And you know what? He fancies it with that reaction, doesn't he? He's been in some form. He just wouldn't be shocked to see this go again. Goal 12 for a second nine dart. <laughs> Jesus! Two in one night. Two in one night. Two in one night. Two in one night. You li- if you if you just don't remember anything else about this morning's show, it was an incredible night in Belfast on the it weekend. It sure was. Want to see what happens in the studio? Check it out on Facebook. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Yeah, it's yeah. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie on Over 100. Now, I've got a story about Major Gary John Swan that I've been sitting on for a while because I went to see him in January for his birthday. And this thing happened and I've been parking it because I want to tell you guys and laugh about it, but... You know, when you're on the on the radio, you've sort of got to weave it into something. You know, it's got to be mm. a phoner or there's the got to be... Yeah, and I've been... It's been in the back of my mind thinking, what, what can I make it into? And I can't. Full disclosure, you you um, mentioned this to us last on Friday <laughs> yeah. and you said, oh, I don't, I'm not sure about telling it. I don't really have a... I don't have a big finish. I don't, yeah, yeah, I I don't, don't know how to finish ha- it. I don't know where it goes. It doesn't matter. That's it's right. an uncut jar. Right. Let's put it that right. way. It's an uncut jar. Jar. Julia Fox style. <laughs> so I go to see Dad, right, and um, I'm just there for a, four days or so. And, and he's shooting at the neighbour's dog. And he had, no, he's not. He's fully recovered from his <laughs> yep. time in Vietnam because <laughs> it was that day 50 shooter. years ago. I remember the day they didn't, that day he was in here? He Whoa. just stared at you across the Mate. desk. I'm sorry exactly. he was shooting at you. It's put, very when he put it's on, embarrassing to me. When he put on his helmet, I thought, it doesn't seem How right. did you even see it? Because it had all branches coming out <laughs> off the top. So Dad likes to, Dad lives at Cool and Gatter and the airport is at Cool and Gatter and it's a five-minute walk and he's always said to me, love, just walk it. Just walk it, but it's vi- uh, which I can obviously because yeah. I'm Kerry Saxby Junior. Yeah. But you know, with the kids and stuff, it's not it's not good to walk. So he's finally acquiesced to my wishes, and he drives us in his town car. He's got this very old Mercedes that's done about ten kilometres. It's thirty years old or something, pristine. Like he's just taken it off the showroom. Oh. And, would it, would it have uh, done a hundred thousand? Ca- no, it's done. Wow. It's done nine thousand k's. You are. That's not true. That sure. is true. Wow. That's, that's not the one that you wrecked the seat. The back of the seat you used to chew on. No, 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 no. That was years, yeah. years before. Uh, years before. Used it, to chew on. Yeah, sure. yeah I used to chew on the back of the, the back of the seat. The Ford Falcon. 
and he never he never knew because he never looked behind it until he went to sell the cream Ford Falcon, <laughs> and he was like, "Grizzy, what in the have back you done?" Seat. Because there's no seatbelts. I'm just up the back behind his seat, right? Anyway, I digress. He's picking us up. Say the flight's at ten o'clock. He said, "I'll I'll come past your you know apartment and pick you up at nine. Anyway, he's late. He's never late. Ten minutes late. Anyway, I said to him. You know, you're late. He goes, yes, I've been writing um, I've been writing a eulogy. What? I said, oh, my God. That's sad because he, he gives a great eulogy, mm. Dad. Like he's an amazing speaker. You can imagine. What a gift. And he puts in great effort. And also he's 81, so he knows his way around a eulogy, if you know mm. what I mean. There's <laughs> not too many people. He's match fit. Yeah, he's a very match fit. But Joe Biden. That's what Joe Biden does. Does he? He, he writes eulogies. He does eulogies for people. Right. Well, that's his big thing. So he's he's Australia's version of Joe he Biden. Is, he is Australia's Joe Biden. So he's working on this eulogy, and I said, oh, "I'm so sorry. Who's it for?" And he said, "Oh, it's for Joe Butler." And I went, "Oh my God, did Joe die?" He said, "No. <laughs> he's he's not. He's not. He's straight based." He's not dead. He just got very sick about two years ago and I've been spending the last two years working on his eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> I said... That's great. I said, does he know that you're writing... Oh, no, love. No. That he has... My dad has spent two years writing a eulogy for an old army friend who is still very much alive and it's so urgent that he was late to pick up his daughter <laughs> for a flight that home. Is great. So you, you, uh, your dad should be working for the obit section in the newspapers. You know how at the start of the year they yes. have anyone who's likely to go away, they have a, they have obits ready to go. They yeah, should yeah, they should hire him he, because he puts the work in, does. even when you're still alive. Uh, he subscribes to the four Ps. What? Preparation <laughs> prevents piss-poor performance. Correct. What's your, what, was the, what was the bloke's name? Joe Butler. I hope Joe doesn't listen to the podcast. He'll be a bit flat when he finds out there's a eulogy ready to go. Is he looking rickety a bit? Yes, he was diagnosed with something very serious about two years ago, but he's hanging in there. Good on you, Joe. Dad's predicting. Dad's right. predicting, though. For any minute now, Joe's going to shuffle off this mortal coil <laughs> and guess who'll be ready? Yeah. Major Gary J. Swan. Oh, be ready. Wow. Love it. Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's Celebrity Star. Elon Musk has a new Aussie girlfriend, actress Natasha Bassett. She was spotted leaving Elon's private jet. We love it when someone loves an Aussie, don't we? Jeez, he's moved on from Denise Drysdale very quickly. I know. <laughs> Just wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to work. Um, she starred in... Uh, uh, sorry, hang on. I love this. A source told Hollywood Life that the pair were in a monogamous relationship. <laughs> like you have to clarify that. Anyway, she um, plays Elvis's first girlfriend, Dixie Locke, in the Baz Luhrmann film, film El Elvis, which is coming to cinemas on June 23rd. Do you remember September last year, he broke up with his wife or that other monogamous relationship? Grimes. Gri Grimes, yeah. yeah. And uh, they'd had a baby and it had that funny name, X A E A, Glella, pronounced X A A twelve. That's the baby's name. If he has a baby with Nat with Natasha, yeah. it's going to be called this. <laughs> that's it. Just that. That's that. That's oh. cool. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Try and pronounce that. <laughs> Try to. Hey, at eight thirty, can I offer a real good Elon Musk tidbit? Yes. A few moving parts. Yes. Was he with Amber Heard? As well, I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'll say you, yes. There's something like that she's recently. Not, not got... judging by the look on Jack Charles's face, <laughs> yeah. he wasn't a tear. Chrissy, Sam, and Brownie. Olympia Valance, great friend of the show, and finally back in the studio. And can we all say thank God for that? Because her chats on Facetime, well, they were they were oh. interesting. Oh, this cat! I can't. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Jerry, it's Je Kitty. It's now in the knife drawer. What an idiot. Sorry. What an idiot indeed. You can see Olympia on Dancing with the Stars. All Stars, which continues 7pm Sunday night on Channel 7. 
Here's Valance. I never thought I would say the words, I miss lockdown, but you on FaceTime really was an experience, Olympia. The funny thing is, it's like I always forget that I'm on the radio when I'm doing FaceTime. Like, I feel like everyone can actually see me, <laughs> but they can just hear what's going on. And it's, yeah, yeah you sound yeah. bonkers. It wasn't as bad as, uh, did we do the one of the housewives the week before her, oh, the, the dog wouldn't, oh, yes. wouldn't stop talking Gamble. to the dog. Yeah, Gamble, Gamble Bro. bro. Yeah. They gamble Great. Bro so it's one not, week it's not with just a dog. Me. No, no, yes. no, it's you no. and Gamble Bro in the same. Yeah, but then I category. came on a couple of weeks later for the worst <laughs> interview you've ever had. Remember? Oh, you yes. did that, Sam. That's right. Yeah, you brought me back for the worst interview. Yes, <laughs> yes. We revisited the lineup that would be the worst show ever of the year. <laughs> judging by what you, you just heard, yeah. Judging by what you just heard, with you just yelling at a cat, <laughs> that's what we were. That's yeah, what we're all sitting here listening to. The worst show was you and Gamble. One after the other. Now, let's talk uh, your appearance on Dancing with the Stars, All Stars. Um, Do you agree with Channel 7's uh, assertion that is... Oh, well, have a listen. Have you heard the promo? Have you heard it? I haven't. Go ahead. They're underselling the show. TV's greatest entertainment show is back. Ever. In the history of television. Ever. In the history of television. history. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to be to be fair, to be fair, yeah. Yeah. it's a pretty bloody good show. It yeah. is. It is. It's fine. There's no but doubt about it. Is it the greatest show of all time? Are you feeling the added so. pressure now? Because <laughs> a lot falls on your shoulders, I think. It, I've got to be honest. I actually mm. didn't watch it last night because I wasn't on it last night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why would you watch it? <laughs> why were you on it last night? Because there's two groups. There's a group A and a group B, and I'm in the group B. I think. I hope I wasn't good on support, it last night. Good no. support of your fellow dancers. <laughs> was she on the last night? I've seen. I've seen. No. no, great, 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 great. Exactly. I didn't watch it last night. It oh, is yeah. a gorgeous cast. Don't worry. It's I'll, a great cast, yeah. and we had so much fun. If you had to choose your favourite sunshiny person out of Ricky Lee or Rob Mills, who is it? You got a gun to your head. <laughs> Probably who I had more fun with. Would have been Ricky, but I love Rob. I know. I've actually got a very, very funny, explicit video on my phone of Ricky that I'll show you yes. after this. Let's go. Yes. I just found it. You know, she she must have picked up my phone when I wasn't uh, when I yes. didn't have it. Yeah. And she's recorded something on my phone, and I was going back through my phone to like look at things to post, <laughs> and I just see this video of Ricky. Yes. This guy. Ricky Lee Coulter, <laughs> you dirty bird. I knew yeah. she had it in her. Spice. Oh, yeah. She's filthy. She's one of the Just greats. Just explicit as in language, not as in OnlyFans. Oh, content. yeah, not tears yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. So, Let's just Are clarify you that. I don't know, Ricky Lee. <laughs> Less. <laughs> Dino was all excited. Less interested. Damn it. <laughs> <That's> all... <laughs> hey, are we speaking about neighbours now or later? Yeah, na- now. Whoa. Uh. Neighbours. There's a lot going on this morning. Yeah, we've got so much to talk to you about. And you're going in the cone of silence afterwards. Yeah, which I don't know how to play this. Am I going to be good at it? Yeah, you'll be great. That's easy. That's just you and Chrissy talking to each Mm. other. Oh, That's (laughs) fine. Please. (laughs) But what are you... (laughs) Bored for it. As as Neighbours alumni. Yes. What are are your thoughts on the the sad news? it's, It's really sad. It's really, really sad. It is. What was your last story like? What was your character again? Those who missed my not seen a minute. What, you? Yeah. Yeah. What, Sam, you never watched a no, second just, of Neighbours. Like, don't was talk he? to me like you're interested in Neighbours. <laughs> I love Neighbours. What was your character? Dino suggests that your character on Neighbours is Stingray. Pufferfish? My character. Yeah. Axel- axolotl. <laughs> Shut up, Dino. Do you even remember? I just want to start talking to Chrissy again. I will right. get there, don't worry. She hasn't seen a lot of Neighbours. She only watches the episode. She's, She's on. <laughs> <laughs> What was your character's name? Uh, Paige, but you're talking about when I married the priest. Yes. That yes. Was, that was such a great yeah, storyline. Like, he, he threw his um, collar, remember? He that threw his collar off and we just bonked on yeah. the... <laughs> yes. And there was just a close-up of the collar, of the I think. Collar, yeah. And then sort of blurred <laughs> movement in the background. Do yeah, do you ever, two and two together. Do you ever pull the collar out for the big Tom Bell charm? Is it all? You know, just get in character? Oh, Jesus. No. Jesus. No. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> often, in my, often in my younger days, when I was a single, looking for a female companionship, I would dress as a priest <laughs> when I would go to clubs. But it didn't, it didn't, didn't quite work. It didn't seem I, also work. Didn't, I also didn't find it very attractive on but the show. But you know what? Either. It's the storyline in Fleabag, and it is very hot. Mm. Has everybody watched Fleabag? Yeah, yeah. Remind us. Well, she falls in love with a priest. That's right. Do you think Paige's storyline of getting on with a priest may have been... Yeah, the catalyst to bring down the whole neighbours <laughs> franchise. Potentially. So? <laughs> Potentially. But then I ended up coming back. I 
I think I had the kid with the priest. Yes. Oh, yeah. My God, yeah. Spoiler oh, yeah. Alert. Yeah. I had the kid with the priest. It's not really a spoiler alert. I haven't been on the show for a couple of years. All right. <laughs> and then I came back and married someone else. Jesus. Yeah. Had a few, I was a bit of a hussy on that show. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like in real life. <laughs> this song went to number one. <laughs> In the UK on Spotify, this song Just like we've got a more. bajillion downloads the in the last one. The official Barry Crocker right. version. Yeah, it became number one. Yeah, you I feel always... like Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be saved? Do you think people are sort of like they're sort of saying it's mm. over, but there is a chance. There, isn't is, there? there, there is a chance, but they do need another partner. I mean, it's a very expensive show to run. It is. Mm. So Channel Ten can't just. Um, they can't bankroll they, it. Yeah, they can't mm. bankroll the whole show. They need mm. someone in the UK. Yeah. It's not going to be Channel 5 anymore. Okay. Olympia. Let's see. One more. No, 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 no. 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 They, no. They've got to get yeah, to the You've got to save some questions for Swanee in the car. Yeah, oh, no, I've got all the questions and yeah. we haven't oh, touched really? on any of them. Yeah. Oh, good. Do you want to see what this looks like? Well, get the visuals on Instagram. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Yeah. Sorry. Olympia, <laughs> Blounce and Pangy are having Olympia a fighting. sibling punch-up in the background. And just a reminder, get to Autumn Leaves in Flemington for free coffee, but Olympia Blounce. There, there is a little bit of that with us. Every time, Every see, time like, you know, we an, brawl in like here. An older sister. <laughs> Oh, stay down, yeah, Lance. <laughs> Let's go into the cone of silence. Yeah, lower the, is, lower the cone now. This is where we lower the cone, and nobody can hear what we're talking about. It's just you and I. Okay, okay. Lower the cone. I wish, Good I, luck. Could, I, wish I couldn't see anyone else as well. Oh. Well, you can't once, once the cone's down. You, you can't. can't see. No, okay. you can only see me. We're the only two under the cone. Good luck. Here it comes. Locks in. Okay, we're finally alive. Oh, thank oh God. God. I was so sick of the others. I know. God, it's good to see you. Oh, my God, I love you so much, Chrissy. I need another, like, long hug yeah, that's before you strong, go. Long, long, yes. like, deep embrace. Speaking of embraces, yes. um, I just want to sit you th- take you through the rules of the cone of silence. Mm-hmm. You just answer freely because nobody can hear us. Okay. It's just like you and you and me in here. I'm probably the the worst person to do this, and nobody you know that from hear. past because I say things that should not be said on the radio. <laughs> You've had an illustrious career as an actor. Thank Who you. was your best on screen kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Harold Bishop. Um, it was. I, you're not in this you're code. Not, you can't hear anything. Um, my best on-screen kiss mm. would have might probably be um, Scott McGregor. Really? Yeah. That's good. I can see that. What was his character's name? Oh, maybe um, Jackson. Is, uh, I've, had, I've had some pretty good kisses, to be honest. That's great. Oh, I've done my sister. That's a good benefit, isn't it? I always thought that's a good benefit that you can get a fix and be allowed to. Yeah, but it really sucks when you hate the person. Yes. Yeah, because you feel like you're going to vomit in there. <laughs> um, I want to talk about um, your cat, Jerry. Yeah. Is he a total bastard? Yeah, he's still a bastard. But did you hear about the cat that he brought in now that I've got, I've got two cats now? Tell us the story of Jerry finding a friend. <laughs> He's outsourced it. He's outsourced if uh, I wasn't good enough. The little bastard needed someone else. Where did he find a friend? I was calling him in at night and I said, Jer, 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 come in, come in. And I see this. I'm like, shit, he's got a mouse or something. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's a kitten. And this kitten is like the size of my hand. Jerry has found a kitten and brought it home. And the kitten, this stray feral kitten is now whiskey. Whiskey and Jerry, and he's here to stay. I love that. How do you have the patience to make all your amazing cakes with your ADHD? (laughs) You don't see the behind the scenes. I put them on a time lapse so it looks like it's happening really fast, but there is so much swearing going on. Because for me, I look at that and I think, how does she do that? Like, I couldn't do that. That's no way. You know I would what? just leave it. You know, I'd be distracted and leave it. I do that all the time. If you actually look at some of those videos, I have about 10 costume changes <laughs> because it actually takes me about 10 days to do. Well, they're incredible. Thank you, Chrissy. I want to talk about your sister. Yeah. Are the tra- great Holly Valance, yeah. who I miss because she's got this new life overseas. Yeah. An amazing life. Really, really great surreal, life. A surreal, great life. But is this song still a stone cold banger?
Look at she's doing this in the clip. God, I haven't heard that in so long. It's so good. I just remember being in like, I think I would, I was in year five and that <gasps> song came out and then Down Boy came out. Yes. And I was just so cool. I was the cool kid in school, and she 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 brought in singles. Do you remember singles? Yeah, CD yeah. singles. And I handed them out to everyone. I'm like, oh, this is Holly Valance. Oh my god, it is such. <laughs> do, you want that, do you want that little bit of song again, just to enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Can you, uh, what? <laughs> There's a cat in there. Um and. Wasn't she naked in that video as well? Yes. She was oh, all... Dino, you, you're not in it this was, cone. It was like she was in... She'd just come out of the shower. Yeah. And she was so magnificent. So hot. And like no bra yeah, and no great bra. juicy boobs. Good boobies. Amazing. <laughs> she was amazing. How tall are you? Um... 165. So like 5'7", five, 5'6". Five, five, six. Five, six, I think. And your fiancé is... Two metres. Six, six foot six. Six eight. Six eight. Yep. Are there any problems? Like, is your house modified, like, when you've got a sausage dog at home and you've got to put ramps in? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've just renovated our property. Mm. And we, for him, mm. and this is the first time that he's probably ever been in a house where he doesn't have to bend under the shower. Yeah. So he can stand straight up in the shower. So our shower is like two and a bit metres Very high. far away. And also our benches are incredibly high. Our bathroom sink do is Do you have so a little step ladder like a toddler? I have, I have a you step. You do, yeah. To wash my... I can't... Wa- I'm on my absolute tippy toes <laughs> to wash my face in our bathroom sink. And he's just like... <sighs> Heaven. I've always wondered how that works, that discrepancy. I'll, 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 t- I'll actually take a photo for you when I get home and show you how ridiculous it is. Fantastic. All right, last question. I love and this game. It's so fun, isn't it? We should just it? do a show, just you and me. Well, obviously. Just get rid of these three. Yep. <laughs> these three yeah. idiots. Well, we can't even see them because we are in the cone oh, with Olympia right. Valance. Um, your stepdad. Oh, Rossi. I'm obsessed. Ross Wilson from the great Mondo Rock. Come set the boy. I'm going to play you some grabs and you've got to, you've got to choose your favourite. This is okay. one, Come Said the Boy. Cool world, I'll break into you. Cool world, I'll break into you. Oh. Or is it this one? Oh, this is yours, I know. <laughs> or is it this one? Same again. That's the same song. <laughs> Come on. I'm leading the witness. Oh, I know this is your favourite song, but you know what? Um, what are you going to go with? Well, Come Said the Boy is my favourite song. Okay. But I also love, um, it's such a cool, cool world. Cool world. Break it. Break it to you. Cool world. Break I love how it your starts. Your world is as cool as, as ice. ice. Your, Your world, world is, is so nice. nice. <laughs> and raise the cone. Oh, oh that's the wrong no, cone. No, wrong cone. Whoa. It actually got quite hot in the cone, guys. We've really Woo! covered some ground. Whoa, what happened? We've well, really covered some ground. We talked about can... Holly. What would you like to know? We talked about <laughs> Jerry finding wow. stray cats. Whoa. What about the wedding day? Did you oh, talk about that? We didn't. Uh, we didn't, but I, I've just... Found a venue. Great. Do you want to give it a plug? Are you paying Smorgies. for it? Or, well, well <laughs> is it I, just before I do that, I, th- I think this is what we're going. So okay. I don't know if I should. S- no, 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 maybe hold it off. But it's, it's five minutes from our house. Great. Um, Perfect. That's important. It's important. Dancing with the Stars, All Stars, 7 p.m. Sunday night on Channel 7. We love you like We that. love hey, you how, so much. I love you How guys. great was that last talk break where we didn't have to talk to each other? Oh, that great? it was mm. so good. <laughs> See Sam and Brownie for breakfast. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. The podcast. Good morning, Melbourne. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie on Nova 100. Just one more uh, mention to that cafe because you got to get in there and get free stuff. Autumn Leaves in Flemington. Mention our show. Oh, who's here? I want, I want some tropical stuff. Monday, February 21st. Give you a sense of the day. Mm. Well, the Queen's uh, got COVID. I reckon she's had it last week, fully recovered, and then they've said she's got it. I don't think they would say she had it when she was currently having it. 
She's fallen ill after it was confirmed she had direct contact with Prince Charles the week he had the virus. What are they hanging out? Can they hang out too much for a, for a mother and a son? Mm. That's a good question. I mean, there's no way, no way of knowing that she got it off him. They don't live in the same building, though. Yeah, yeah mate. Mate. same yeah. castle. But I just love Windsor the idea. Castle. Of, yeah, I just love the idea of the Buckingham Palace cluster. <laughs> That's, mate, it's real. Yeah, mm. remember the first cluster here in Victoria. Mm, what well, was it was, again? Remind well, it was, us. It was the um, it was two years ago now. Yeah, they come from the snowfields over in America. Aspen. Aspen, Aspen. Aspen cluster. Oh my god! And then it was the Portsy cluster. I miss them. Yeah, you miss the clusters. Yeah, it was a good time. You went down at Sorrento during the. Um, Holidays, Dean. Uh, <laughs> footy fans are outraged at a shock Red Rooster move. Have you heard this? No. Is Red Rooster still a oh, thing? Oh, yes, I have. Long-standing favourite. Tell you what. What do you mean I, it's still a thing? Can I tell you, Red Rooster is even more of a thing. I was there the other day getting those hot chips because they're a bit soggy. Mm. Like, they're just the best. The whole menu's changed. You can get fried chicken like KFC at Red Rooster. Yeah. This is not an ad. No. But it, the whole menu's changed. You can get fried chicken at Red Rooster. Yes. That was always their point of difference, mm. though, Swanee. But you can still get the whole chickens, beautiful roast chickens, but now you can get everything mm. else. You know how KFC have a twister? Yeah. Do you know what the Red Rooster one, the equivalent's called? Oh, flavour? Oh, that's funny. That's, funny. Funny. that's good from me. I've never been. Spell with a Y. Yes. F-L-A-Y-V-A. Yeah. I don't know. You. Well, that's your spelling bee. <laughs> Stuff coming that's out. That's it. That would have been a good one for you and Daniel to ask your kid <laughs> how to spell flavour from Red Rooster. No, so Red Rooster and Crust have been given the flick and will be re- replaced by several new eateries. This is at the MCG, I think, such as a burger joint called Royal Stacks. Oh, yeah, there used to be one uh, in Canberra, mm-hmm. Royal and Stacks. Gammy Chicken. Oh, yeah, what about this one? That's Guy Grossi is headlining a new Mel- M- MCG restaurant and cuisine offering. I actually read about this. This is where you could um, you could eat at the President's Club lunches, right? That's on the. That's if you're a member, obviously. But during the week... Non-members will be able to dine at the committee room by Guy Grossi. So you can go really? into the G. Grossi's on the tools, and I'm I'm assuming it'll be a beautiful view, a beautiful mm. view of the MCG as you eat. That Lovely. sounds fancy. Nice. What do you think about not being able to just get a good greasy takeaway meal though? Like, I'm sure I mean, chicken and and Royal Stacks is fantastic, but they're fancy. It's fancy. Mm. I think Royal Stacks has a hundred dollar burger. Does it from memory? It's yeah. Nice. What? Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I just think Jeez, you sometimes sesame, you just want a flavour, right? You want sesame seed on those buns if you're getting $100 for <laughs> a couple of burgers. I remember going to the committee room once and at a uh, Sticks County was there. Got to have a crownie with Sticks County in yes. the committee room. The MCG. Now, boss? I would argue you could charge 100 bucks for that. You get to go into the committee room and have a crown lager with oh. Sticks County. Is Sticks, has he got a deeper voice than even you? Oh, yeah. We brought him, yeah, we brought him in here, members. One. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. it. It sounded like he was on slow. Mm. <laughs> you know, like you were playing a record on the wrong speed. His an, voice is so it's deep. It's an amazing voice. It's amazing. an amazing voice. He can sing too. iPhone hey. face ID will soon unlock with your mask on. Oh, thank God. I get so it angry. Feels slightly late to the party, aren't we? No, on the no, other no, end. How of... frustrating is that? No, uh, what's later? The um the quarantine building that's opening this week <laughs> <laughs> at the airport for international <laughs> travellers. No, just in time. Or that. Good Lord. Evan, a- Apple has announced Face ID will be updated, expected to be released in early March. There you go. That's uh, big news. Has anyone made changes to their iPhone based on the fact that it can't recognise you with a mask? Yeah, hell yeah. I what thought have you it done? would streamline my day. But then I didn't realise that after you take the passcode off. Oh, you've taken the passcode off. I've been thinking of doing that. Don't do it because then you can't pay for stuff. It automatically disables you. Oh, that's, that's a good tip. Which makes sense, but if you're not expecting it and you're at the front of the line at Woolies, you get a lot of pissed off people yes, behind. Yes, you do. Why didn't we just uh, do the face recognition in the first place with the mask on? Yeah. Good point, John. Why didn't we think of that in the last eight months? Because we're all idiots. Mm. International tourism. 50 international flights are due to land today, Oof. carrying the first tourists since the government shut the borders. Um Fully vaccinated tourists allowed to enter the country without quarantine. They just walk off the plane and then they come. Mm. So we're getting... Does it feel like you're getting back there or not? That is fantastic. Yes, I do. Every day. And there's going to be new restrictions lifted apparently on Friday. Yes. Really? Masks at work, Masks allegedly. At work. Yeah, that's the rumour. And, uh, and other things. That yeah, is gone. That the, is uh, huge. I hope the uh, border the border force is up to date a bit quicker than the text messages. I received, obviously, we flew in internationally last week into Sydney. 
And then I got a text message two days later from the New South Wales government <laughs> saying, make sure you've got a uh, negative rat test on arrival. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dom. I going to say thank you, Gladys, but she's off yeah. with Daryl somewhere. The last thing Summers? I want to... Sorry. Hey, how... Mm. You're, um... Of course, the King of Moomba, King and Queen of Moomba was la- was announced last week, Fifi Box and Peter Hitchener. Mm. Peter Hitchener was in here last week. You as his son are the Prince of yeah. Moomba. You want to be on the float. Yeah. I'm not allowed on the float. Aren't you? Aren't you? Is that new? Yeah, really? We had, well, we had a practice run. It was deemed oh, yeah. that I wasn't in the spirit of Moomba. Oh, that's not fair. Who cares? The last thing I do, special day. Did anything you'd like to announce about your papa today? Happy birthday, old man! Happy Peter birthday, Peter Hitchner. Peter Hitchner's birthday today. Wow. How old is he? I'm not going to tell you. I don't think he's... Is he hit 90 yet? No. Oh, gen- yeah. Gentleman Jesus. never reveals his age. Mid-90s. Easy. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, Hitch. He's Love beautiful. You, Hitch. Love you, Hitchy. This is the Chrissy Salmon Brownie Podcast. Chrissy Salmon Brownie and... Mystic Chrissy. There's a lot of art around you, Sammy. Well, I actually collect art. The number 11 and number 7 are around you. What would they be? I just passed the 7-Eleven. Whoa! There we go. That'll be it. Why do I see little, like, garden gnomes around you? I took out my neighbour's gnome with my car. Come on! Oh, that'll be it. You don't drink much, though. No, I'm a non-drinker. Yeah! Oh, wow. What will she predict next? No. Come on, man. I've got the gift. Jeez, Dave, Dave and Neil featured prominently saying the same thing he? over and over. Yeah, that'd be it. This is Mr. Chrissy. I've got the gift. I'm clairvoyant. By the way, that's the worst intro of all time. That is that is a, not a great representation of what goes on in this oh, segment. Sam. You've cherry-picked. Sam. All, that, that all like, the correct answers. Yeah, all the correct answers and about 100 guesses. What, and you're saying that that's not how every psychic makes their TV shows? Well Boom! done. Well done, Swan. Yeah, that'd be it. <laughs> if you're in baseball terms, what's she batting at? Oh, you think like in in one fifty? Yeah, out of a thousand. Anna, Anna from Garfield. Hello, Anna. Good morning. Okay, just um, let me get in there, Anna. Anna, why do I see Grease the movie around you? It was on last night. <laughs> <laughs> it was on, and I did watch it. Jesus. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It actually was. I yeah. saw it. it was on Saturday night. <laughs> Saturday night. And you watched it. That's important to know. <laughs> That's big. Yeah. Why is that nothing, Sam? There's a million things to watch. The fact that Anna watched Grease and that's what came to me, that's impressive. Anna, are you saying on Saturday night you, you stayed home and watched Grease on one of the digital channels? Sadly, I did. A sad, sad woman. <laughs> <laughs> You are not a sad, sad woman, actually, Anna. You're having a real purple patch. You're doing really well. I am. I am. Mm, she backsnapped Dan to the other day. <laughs> if, if you can't move and back in with your parents, it's good news. That's, uh, that's good. It's just on fire. Have you been walking, Anna? Uh, yes. I walk to work every day. Mate, I am on fire. You actually haven't missed this segment. I know. How Should we far? finish it now? No. Yeah. Anna, how far's how far's work? Three doors down. <laughs> Great band. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't have asked. That there. Why do I see a blue school uniform around you? Blue in it. Wow. So I just have a new high school student, and he's in a blue uniform now. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're pretty good today. I'm pretty good <laughs> today. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Oh, my God. <laughs> credit where credit's due That's from right. JB. Yeah, Jesus. I'm actually looking behind me to see if you're watching me, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm at your front door. <laughs> that went suddenly David Lynch. Okay. Um, I don't... I can, I can hear wham. Like, I can hear George Michael, Andrew Ridgely... I can hear Wham, the song, the music, the band. I really hated Wham. You specifically <laughs> hated Wham. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I can hear it, because oh. you've got a strong <laughs> opinion oh. about Absolutely. Wham. Oh. Yeah, it? I think one of my sisters used to listen to that Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go and just drove me nuts. And it's so. one of your most hated mm. songs. You might be able Absolutely. To, you might be able to hear it because Anna's got Gold FM on in the background. <laughs> 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 When you go to the movies, Anna, you really resent having to pay so much for popcorn. Oh, oh that's come. Uh, everyone oh. does. Uh, everyone. No, she does. loves Not it. Not really. 
Can I just talk to Anna for a second? Everything I've said so far, you've all gone. Oh, wah, wah. No, I I back you try, up. It's I interrupting you up my before. It's interrupting my flow. We're just trying to keep you honest, Mister. That was a disgrace. That one. That's like saying, "Oh, I, I've got well, a feeling that you don't like getting into car accidents, Anna." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's overpaying for... Guess what? We didn't even hear from Anna on that. We heard from all of you. Anna, uh, yes. how do you feel about movie popcorn? Uh, yeah, I'm not real keen on movie yeah. popcorn. Sometimes you, don't buy, like, my, uh, sometimes you don't even buy it. You're not that keen it on it. It would be one of the greatest well, marked, marked up food items, the biggest marked put, up. Put it this way. I have five boys, so we just get a Ooh. tub of popcorn. I make them share it. Tell so, yeah, yeah, you're right. Real That's mystic. Right. Real mystic might have... Zeroed in on the five boys. That's a pretty. That's a pretty big one. That was my next thing. Oh really? I was going to say, what's the number five around you? <laughs> you drive a blue car. No. Okay. <laughs> you drive a what? Let's just yeah, it doesn't dump matter. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you drive a white car. Mm, no. <laughs> All right, I can't. You drive them. a silver car and it's got lots of seats. No. It's a Kia Carnival. I did have one. I did have a Kia Carnival. Mr. Chrissy out. Hey, that's a great <laughs> session. You did well. Thank you. Well. Thank Anna, you. 50K could be yours. It's the last week, by the way, of 50K Fridays. But I'll give you oh something extra as well, mate. Here's yes. A- Here's a hundred and fifty dollar grilled voucher and two tickets to see the Batman. Uh, try the Bruce Wayne burger at Grilled and see the Batman in cinemas March three. Hey, Anna. Lisa, but how, how many tickets do you need with all those boys at home Matt, for the movies? Yeah, five. You need five hey. plus you six. No, just five. Just My five. eldest boy won't come. Just five, and no, and Anna's going to stay home this Saturday night and watch Grease too. <laughs> <laughs> Ever wondered what happens in the studio? Check out Chrissy Sam and Brownie on Instagram. Good morning, Melbourne. It's Chrissy, Sam and Brownie on Nova 100. This is how Channel 7 is describing Dancing with the Stars. TV's greatest entertainment show is that. I mean, that's an offer we can't refuse. So we tuned in uh, last night because also we've been given the heads up from Cameron Daddo off air on Friday. Full, full disclosure too, Olympia Valance joined us early in the show mm-hmm. and she didn't watch last night and we <laughs> wondered why and her answer was, well, I wasn't on I wasn't last on night. It. She's so. in the different group. Wow. So she didn't watch it. Mm. Cameron Cam- Daddo, after the interview on Friday, said, you might want to keep my number, guys, because you might want to call and see how I am on Monday and how interest was peaked. Oh, yes. Because I thought he was going to snap a hammy like that guy from Potluck. Yeah. Oh, I thought God. something That's dramatic true. was going to happen. <laughs> An Achilles or something. Something. He was going to Dak Daryl Summers. Dak Daryl. When Cameron Daddo gives you the wink yeah. and says, I will be speaking to you mm, Monday, mm. all he did was leave. He was the worst dancer. Here to defend himself is Cameron Daddo now. Good morning, Cameron Daddo. <laughs> Here to defend himself. <laughs> Cameron, I was expecting <laughs> a drama. I just, I just got bumped off, that's all. Oh, yeah. now you say mm. that. Now you're casual about it, Daddo. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, I was giving you the chance to be nice and go, check out how he is because he clearly looked a little upset and shocked. Mm. I had to watch 17 hours of Daryl Summers to get to that conclusion. Oh, Jesus. The the world's smallest violin's playing for you. (laughs) (laughs) There we go. Daddo with the zing. Daddo with the zing. Where did it all go wrong, Daddo? Um, I, I, I'm not sure, uh, but I, I will say this. I do have a feeling about, you know, those early trench warfare people that had to get up and catch the enemy bullets because I think that's sort of, that's how I felt at the end of it, going, well, that was weird. Uh, that's a good point, Cameron. That's a good point. When you're first through the wall, there's always some blood. You were, <laughs> you were first last night. And so what were the dan- what dances did you do for those who didn't see it? Oh well, so I did a tango last night, but but see, I, I had I had half as long to prepare as everybody else, and I did I actually learnt four dances in the two weeks. Wow! So I had a I had a Elvis Presley jive ready to rock and roll, and then there was a gorgeous weepy, almost like that song you just played. Then Taylor Swift song. 
<laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I had a Viennese waltz that that song would have been perfect for. So, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you learned all these dances, but none of them you're any good at. Yes. If you went out straight, like oh, first off, the... well, if there was a repertoire charge or a lucky loser, you'd be in good shape, mate. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah, well, exactly. I was hoping for the Bradbury, but it didn't happen. So. Hey. Anyway. Dado, with Dancing with the Stars, do you get initially a whole bunch of cash, right? And is that all the cash you get, or do you get, <laughs> or do you get cash for every week you stay in? That's exactly what it is, Dino. You get cash every week you stay in, oh, so incentive. it's worth. You, 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 there, there is cash bonuses and incentives to stay there. So, but also, I, I was actually doing it for my charity as well. So I had Ronald McDonald House for my charity, and and I was really hanging to get that in there, so we didn't get a mention of that. Have yeah, they well, cut you this morning? I was going to say, you've let them down. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, you've, let, you've let them down, mate. Never again. Else. Hey, what, so are you taking responsibility for the early exit? Because off uh, air on Friday, you did let slip that you weren't overly thrilled with your partner, that she may not have been, um, <laughs> how, how did you describe no, it? I heard that. Up Competent. to scratch? Um <laughs> You're oh. talking to another dad oh, That no. wasn't me. I would never expect that. <laughs> Privately, that's what you said. Who was, it, what's, who was your partner? No, I, the, the wonderful Megan Rag from, from the great state of Western Australia. You, and, said, you, uh, you said she had two left feet the other day. <laughs> no, I said I had two left feet. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> He's getting, very de- the issue. He's getting very defensive. No, no, Megan, Megan was fantastic. She, she took me on the last minute. She took a chance and uh, oh, I let her down. Oh. Blew it. Hey, maybe we're wrong. Maybe it was hell exciting last night. Do you want to hear when Cameron got the ass? Sure. The first couple to leave Dancing with the Stars, All Stars, 2022. Oh, God. Is Cameron and Megan. Oh, audible shock from the crowd. <laughs> audible shock. Audible yeah, and <laughs> um, from my living room too, because I was really expecting a bloodbath or something, exactly. something interesting. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. is there a silver lining, yeah. Cam? Yeah. Like, is there any opportunity you're going to have to use the dance moves with uh, your partner in real life with Ali at home? Well, Brownie, it's, it's funny you say that. I was doing a live cross from Arthur Murray Studios on Friday for one of those Channel Seven morning shows, and I looked at the lady who ran it and I said, "So, can I?" Lesson for Alison and I, and we are booked in for March 16. Oh, there you go. We're, we're, we're doing it. So we won't be under the scrutiny of Todd McKenney or mm. these other cronies. We are we are going to be doing it by ourselves and having a bit of a laugh. That is a we'll very happy ending. ending. Cameron Dado, even though you can't dance to save your life, <laughs> we still love you, man. We do. <laughs> so we do. Much. That's a fact. And uh, we'll see you yeah. soon. Yep. You guys are right. Goodbye, Cameron. Go on, mate. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. What you got, JB? A quick little family story to end. Uh, the weekend, busy for the kids. Uh, they're getting back into it with all their schoolmates. There's sleepovers happening post-COVID time, Swanee. So wonderful. Uh, so little Macy, she's the one that probably misses out the most, uh, the seven-year-old, youngest daughter. She has a little mate around, little Coco, and it's Coco's first crack at having a sleepover. You know, so we're thinking, right, how are we going to go here? You know, it's going to go terribly. Terribly. But the worst. That was the name of that hamster you killed. Oh, yeah, you worst murdered too. it. Wasn't it? Yes. Sucks. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I, uh, so we, we, we looked after him. We gave a bit more affection, a bit more care to little Coco the human than yeah. Coco the guinea pig. <laughs> That's right, a guinea pig. Anyway, got to about 9.30. What, what are you up? Uh, oh, no, we can show you. It's the one that um your kids, they brought home from school and uh, it ended up in the dirt, you know, uh. Coco Jumbo, I believe its name was. No, don't, yeah. never heard of it. Can't remember that. Okay, no. Cool. Anyway, I was telling me to get the girls to bed, so little Macy and Coco are going to sleep together. Yeah. Um, in, in the in the in the double bed. So what so, grade? Grade one or two? Uh, grade one. Grade one. I mean, Macy's in grade. I mean, Macy's in grade one. Or two. <laughs> you, need to be quick. you need to be quicker. She's, than that. she's in one or two, and little Coco, I think, is in prep. So, anyway, oh they, they go God. up to bed. So, be Coles goes, I'll get them sorted, I'll get the routine. So, she's up there 10 minutes ahead of me. I come up the stairs and I hear, I hear a bit of singing, bad dreams, bad dreams, go away. Good dreams, good dreams, here to stay. <laughs> bad dreams, bad dreams, go away. Good dreams, good dreams, here to stay. You've got to say it three times. So she's singing that to the girls, especially little Coco. And then she puts the lavender mist on. Yeah. yeah you got that little mist mm, thing yeah, with yeah. the diffuser. Yeah. Yeah, so a little the lavender mist. And then calls up Alexa. Hey, Alexa, uh, play some rainforest music. Oh, nice. So 
This has done the trick. So I'm hearing all this going on. I walk into the bedroom, into my bedroom. Go and sit back in bed. Sit up in bed, start reading. Kyle's walks in 10 minutes later with the winning ache, it looked like. She was up and about, so girls are all sorted. Sleeping. No dramas. Good effort. Amazing. 10 minutes later, <laughs> little Coco walks in and goes, Hey, Brownie. Can you call my mum and tell her to come pick me up? I'm I'm having bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Always deal with him this way. Mate, it, I can't believe that you're still making that error with the third one. Every time Peg asks for a sleepover, now I just go, no. <laughs> not happening. No. Like one of you want to go I home. don't want to be driving, you know, half an yeah. hour at 11 o'clock at night. Oh, and that's no. how it ends. Oh, no. what about, that's a big effort. For, I'm going to give it to Coles there for all that effort. You know, a lot of effort. Get, lot of no effort. reward. Bit no different, reward. Bit different no than reward. when I was young. Get to bed or I'll thump you. <laughs> yes, like, yes. Lucky Coco's mum hadn't had too much to drink. Yeah, uh, she was able to come around again. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie, every show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie, oh, unless it's a weekend. Nearly the 100.